We're back, back time for mm -hmm. What's Up and About. Welcome back. Titi, we missed oh, you on the day. Thank good you. Yeah, yeah, before we go, earlier this morning, it was just a number of us. We're trying to recollect, I remember. I was going to do that. Number. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, uh, no, no, right. go ahead. Do, do, do yours. Okay, I know. Where did go straight in? Yeah, so we're trying to... Uh, 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 just me and Mazino. Mazino is quite... The guy, <laughs> the, the, the guy that you can trust on. Because if there was anybody out there, I would, I would guess that would remember his matriculation number. Mazino would be the yes. first. Matriculation so number, there? yeah. Can I remember your matriculation number? What was number? yours? Oh, mine oh. is... Uh, ah. So people now be... Uh, you know, 99-3025-347. Nice. Wow. Mine was, mine was 9901013. That's the first one. So I have uh, a second math number. Oh, why? Uh, I, I studied, so that was engineering. That's okay. right. That was MassCom mm -hmm. at oh. Oku University. Mm -hmm. That okay. is N O U 1001-83843. Ah, <laughs> my second one for my master's, I can't remember that. Yeah. I was too so old, I couldn't memorize anything. Yeah, but what, yeah. what was yours? So I know, all I knew is that my own ended with 2002. That's all. <laughs> That's all I remember. In any case. I, did, I had two different matric numbers mm. as well from the Polytechnic and then, of course, the University of Lagos. Okay. So, yeah. Well, now that we yeah. have uh, settled the fact that we're educated, <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> our compatriots oh, no, who are actually still at home at this point. Now, um, mm. the uh, ASU has been on strike for quite a while. They say eight weeks, but honestly, it's been longer than eight weeks. Um, so, last week, it was told by the Minister of uh, Labor and Employment, Kristen Gige, that they were going to re uh, start renegotiations again with ASU. And this was last week. It came out in the papers that we're going to start talks. However, as of this morning here, President of ASU himself, Professor Osudeke, I got that right, Osudeke, yes. uh, has told that they have received no such information about mm. a meeting and that they were moving on to indefinite strike. Now, note, they had been on warning strike for the yeah. past <laughs> eight weeks. I don't know what the difference is. As it stands, after protests from last week by students, I think in Benin, yeah. we do not know the present the situation, situation of education. Yeah. in Nigeria. It's like the government is saying one thing yeah. and then the leadership of ASU is saying something else. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. some reports that, okay, the government has said, okay, don't get into indefinite, let's talk, we've released some What's money. What's the difference, by the way? But then, uh, mm. I think it's just semantics. Yeah. But then, it gets to the point where ASU is saying, look, the government is, and we are not going to budge this time. It has been so consistent. Someone mentioned that he went through school in the noughties and early um, 2000s mm -hmm. without, without a strike and I was surprised. Well, it ha only has to be University of Lagos. Why? Because most yeah. of the time, University of Lagos are, in the, are independent or they yeah. decide to be independent of ASU. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that that time, you know. But then, it is now so, it has gotten so bad that is education, education normally, education and defense mm -hmm. are two parts of any country's budget that are about the highest. Yes, it, exactly. Education and defense. It I mean, for the U.S., it's actually defense. Yeah. defense is, but the education is very close there. There was a time when you have to add one year to your normal years in school. Like in our time, it was uh, four years plus X, uh, plus yeah. four years plus one. Yeah. But now it's actually four years plus X because X, you, don't, you can't tell whether it's, it's, it's not more than one. It's now like it two it's years or even more. It's more than People one. spending seven years I mean, they've years been out school. for four, now four, five months since yes, January. Yes, exactly. That's this just... is five months. So, hey, come on. You can say a session, a session yeah. is almost because a, sem a semester is about two, three months. Three months. Normally, three most, months. Yeah. You have two semesters in a year mm -hmm. at times now. So you find out that recently a lot of people try to there's this sandwich program. Everybody's mm -hmm. trying to rush up everything. Yeah. So people are doing three, four semesters in one year to try and catch up. I'm yeah. actually trying to think about the students that um, started or maybe were supposed to start the university or tertiary education the year COVID began. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm wondering how they're feeling right now because there was already a strike, an impending strike as at the time. Then COVID happened COVID and then happened. so much more is happening. That's so two years to your education. Too many variables going on. Uh, and I know a lot of people have just taken the private route to just avoid these things. Speaking even of expensive. the private route, I will tell you that the private route actually has become like the... Yeah. The only way now. And it's extremely expensive. It is yeah. extremely, and that's the problem. It is extremely expensive. So now what this is doing is that it is only making people who can afford us, rich people who yeah. can afford education, be educated while yeah. the lower masses cannot do that. That is going to cause a very big gap. And once you have a gap in any system, you're looking for trouble. Yeah. Once people who feel oppressed begin to take things like so to, yeah. to heart. Nah. You know, so now to advice? compound the issue. Okay. Mm. To compound, I'm sorry, yeah. but to yeah. compound the issue now, uh, Jam uh, is going into its third day today. Uh, remember now that it is computer-based. Now, you're having another inflow of people who are supposed to go into this already broken system. They don't know what their fate is going to be. They are also having issues with the process itself because now that it's computer-based, many reports are coming in from different states stating that they are having issues of power outages, um, biometric yeah. capturing wow. going wrong and all biometric of that. Power, so the you're process right. from get-go is so fractured. They said they had done like one hour of the exam or 30 minutes and yeah. then... There was a power outage.
Wow. And those, they were complaining, they were outside. And I don't know how, um, uh, what the background work works mm -hmm. like when it comes to that CBT, the conversation. Mm -hmm. well, Jam has responded though. Okay, what you know they what say? they said? They are not going to be rewriting any of these papers for anybody, no matter what, is mm -hmm. what they say. Mm -hmm. The inconsideration of it is, it's a bit shocking that that would be the tone that they would take, especially noting the challenges that we go through in Nigeria when it comes to power. And you've mandatorily made it computer-based without thinking about these, putting these checks in place, what happens if, you know. So I don't know what's happening with education in Nigeria. I'll just say exactly, I'll just say that education should be, should be number one. It is the bedrock of virtually every other thing. We should give it the preference that it is. And hopefully the right people are watching and listening right now. We're going to be taking a quick break and be right back.